Good morning. I hope everyone is well and that you had a great Easter. We are going to be picking up the story that we talked about a couple weeks ago, right at early morning on the third day after Jesus died. And this is called the empty tomb. Okay, here's the pictures. See this? Okay. The sky was pink and red with the first light of sun, and the women, they didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. But... Wow, were they surprised when they got there. Now, they're looking into the tomb. See the picture? Into the tomb. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh-oh. They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening of the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway, and as they came closer... They could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there and cold and drip, drop. It was damp in there. But wait, it was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. And the women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said to them. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead, and he is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. But then something else happens. What happened? Uh, she fell down. Okay, let's finish the story. Whoops! Mary bumped into a man, tripped and fell at his feet. Wait, she knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait, she knew that hand. She looked up and she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The woman hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news that I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The woman had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone Jesus was alive. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the story. We'll hope to see you soon.